hot tech out here. Anyway, I want to take a quick moment just to brief, debrief you guys on um, the progress of po Project Buckingham. Um, it's very hot out here. One of my employees uh, tested positive for COVID within our last, uh, one of our, we're in, we're in our second second quarter. So you know, construction cleaning is done in three phases, at least for this project, Project Buckingham. Next time we go back, I will get you a full video of team members that were involved, my staff and everyone that assisted and, um, and uh, partook in the cleaning with that project. I'll get you some videos and some uh, shots of the site, just like I did with um, Project Park Place, which is still ongoing. Uh, the pandemic slowed down a lot of the progression within that project, but um, it's still ongoing as well. So um, as we make more progress, you get to see more and more that's happening. But I definitely wanted to give you more, uh, more energy, more tune in, more uh, activity as far as my journey and how it's been going. Um, since then, we have moved up to about seven. I've hired maybe about eight people since um, we started Project uh, Buckingham. We started Project July 28th, and today is September 29th. Today is September 29th, so within three months, we've uh, been contracted for two different contracts since then. We're also awaiting a few other ones, but just to, just to keep it brief, I just wanted to let you know that we are working, things are coming together. The um, the whole idea of uh, how we were contracting or the idea as far as 10th AGC wanted to work and stuff like that is completely out the window. Everything's working greatly. I'm supposed to be... Um, uh, putting together some things onto how I can identify these different format these different levels of employment because I want to make sure that uh, any 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 experience that they get coming to work with an issue that is reputable enough to uh, put them in a position of knowledge and leadership in any other position that they choose to take their experience with but my main goal is that every employee that comes to work for NSU finds themselves a position to never want to leave um, and to also know that they can learn the benefits of what it is to be an independent contractor and not just an independent contractor, but an actual janitorial contractor from just working with me. So um, that's my goal. That's one of my personal goals as, as a business owner for every person that I hire, that if they don't leave with knowledge that they can use, that they definitely come in knowing that they want to be a part of it for the long haul to make us all some money. Um, we went through a lot of troubles in these past couple of weeks, but each and every one of us got past our trials and we we conquered and, and, and defeated anything that came against us. I'm going to keep this short because, like I said, I'm not giving out information. I'm just letting you know that Project Buckingham has a success. Our last phase of cleaning will come down to a final clean, will come down to a polished clean, where we will be 100% complete with this project and was able to do so within a few months. Um, I'm very happy to know that I was a part of it and every person that participated with me um, has made a life-changing um, decision to help this company grow and expand and to do more in this city. Um, <clears throat> and I believe that no matter what, somewhere along the lines, um, this is gonna be a life-changing situation for not only myself, but every person involved. Um, not everybody really recognizes what it's like to come up with the idea or to be given a mission or to have a mission and want to do everything they can to make sure that it sees and it comes to pass. Um, so it feels good to know that mine is. I hope you're having a great day. I mean that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned in. And thank you for um, believing. I mean that. Peace.